Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2022 as we continue our Journeyman Glory Hunter run with Curzon Ashton here. And things have been going pretty well, actually, uh, although we have not gotten any new players yet. I'm still looking for maybe a couple more new players to bring in, hopefully, uh, but nothing yet. But let's get into the episode. All right, here we are in game at the schedule. You can see some of the results already. Uh, before I jump into kind of what's been going on, I do want to ask again, please, if you like this kind of video and want to see more of them, please, please like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so you know when I'm uploading these. I'm uploading these every single day uh, for as long as I can. And uh, it just really helps me out a lot. It helps out the series, helps out the channel a lot. And also give me comments below. Let me know how I'm doing or any thoughts, suggestions, criticisms you have. And that helps as well. But uh, let's get into this. And like I said, things have gone pretty well. I mean, it's not like all greens or anything like that. Uh, it's very much a uh, a Christmas tree, uh, an array of colors here. Uh, last game you guys saw was the loss against Geisley here. Uh, but again, I did want to point out that we wore four to two on those first two games for goals versus uh, uh, for, for us and against us. So not too bad start. Uh, we then went out went against Boston United and beat them two to nothing. We had a goal from Coran and a goal from McKay. So good stuff from them all around. Uh, Chris Renshaw actually had an 8.6 rating. He was the highest highest rated person on the team right there. Uh, he, he just blocked goal after goal after goal. It was pretty cool. Uh, Darlington, we went up against them. It did draw them. It was pretty unfortunate because we only let them back into it with a penalty. Uh, pretty, pretty sad turn of events. We should have won that game. But at the end of the day, it was still another point. Uh, we then went up against Leamington here and um, had three goals overall, two goals from Coran, who's just really just playing really well from that left-hand side. And then, of course, a goal from Knowles as well. Uh, they did have a man sent off, but by the time that happened, we were already up two to nothing. We did give them a goal back in the 72nd minute, uh, but that was really just kind of a consolation goal, if nothing else. We then went up against Gloucester. Now, Gloucester is the number one team in the league this year. Um, did they... Where do I see their overview? Yeah, here we go. Um, now they're they're still they've been in this team. I thought maybe they might have come down from the league above because I, obviously I've seen Gloucester City in the Venerama National North many many times, and so it would not have surprised me if they would already got up and come back. I, I haven't really paid attention to real life, so I uh, didn't know what they're currently been at. Actually, last year nineteenth, or I should say the year before last year. Last year they. They were in first, but apparently the competition didn't complete. Was that because of COVID stuff? I actually, again, have not paid attention to the way things have been um, in real life. But it uh, looks like they did end in first when it ended. But uh, they seem like they've been doing pretty good overall. Um, and like I said, they are currently in first place in the league as of right now. So the loss to them, unfortunate. We actually played really, really well. We were very close with them on XG. Um, we, we actually had the momentum for most of the game. We just gave up a couple goals that... Was very unfortunate to see, uh, but now today we're playing against what is this? Wellwind Garden City. They are a team all the way down in the Division One Central SL Division One Central, whatever that means. Um, probably pretty low in the leagues. I actually don't know where this is because I can't see it, and I'm not too familiar with the super low leagues in England. But uh, definitely below us, so we should definitely win this game. Uh, and then we go up against Bradford PA after that. Bradford PA currently ranked 21st, so. Hopefully a pair of wins today, but we will see. Uh, again, no real major changes in the team. Uh, McGuckin has been playing as a bit of a starter lately. He's at a 6.98 over the last five games, so doing pretty well overall. Uh, we're going to play him as advanced playmaker today. Um, see, just because we can be a little bit more aggressive, just play something a little bit different for him. Other than that, I think just about everybody else is pretty normal. we got Renshaw and Goal, Waters on the left, Wilson and Richards in the middle, Challoner on the right-hand side. Coran on the left, Thomas on the right with Lussy and McGuckin playing the midfield. And of course, Knowles and McKay holding up those striker roles. Uh, McKay been a little bit quiet, to be fair, but Knowles doing what he needs to do. So good stuff from him. There, there is the football manager, Jan. So we are good to rock and roll. Uh, nothing else to see. Let's get into this. A couple injuries. Uh, thankfully, Merrill is going to be coming back soon-ish. I, I don't remember if I called it out, but he was injured in preseason stuff and he was gonna be out for like five months with a torn acl so it'd be good to get him back and then with him 
um, who normally plays on the right-hand side for us. Um, no, I'm sorry, he normally plays in the midfield for us. Uh, he uh, he should be back here in the next few days. So good stuff from that. Turn on a, the unmute button. All right, I do expect to see a better performance today. I mean, I expect to see a dominating win, quite frankly. So here's hoping we can pull that out and do what needs to be done. Thomas with the ball up to McKay. McKay gets it over to... There's Coran. I was going to say, he's got to be over there somewhere. Coran pushing the ball up. He's going to stop for a second. He pushes over to Knowles. Knowles gets it across to McGuckin. Very, very early goal here. Three minutes in. Good stuff from McGuckin. It's good to see him actually get up there and score too because, again, you know, he got him in on loan. He hasn't really done a whole lot, but if we can get him active, and I think he's got a ton of potential. Uh, now, granted, he's not our player, but we definitely want to get a lot out of him uh, if we can. I'm really hoping to bring in at least probably two more players, like maybe one more loan and one more like permanent player if we can. I just haven't really found anybody that just really feels worth the investment of time, even if it didn't cost us any money. Just, it's not even time investment. I found one player that looked like he might be pretty good, but he was just prone to injury and would be bad with the social group and couldn't play in big game or he, he plays poorly in big games. Like he had so many negatives against him. It was like, uh, I think I'll just pass on you for now. There's got to be someone else out there. Come on, guys. They're moving the ball pretty well here, Mr. Uh, the Wellwind well Garden City is. They really are just... It's like putting on a clinic here. There we go. Finally, we get in the way. There's McKay getting past the defense. Is he going to be able to get a shot off? He is. And it just, just barely deflects well enough to get into the goal. Good stuff from McKay. I think it's only his second goal of the season, maybe, I think. All right, go keep it tried. Credit. Give him credit where it's due, but just wasn't quite enough. Coran with the cross. Richards is there, and it goes in. Daniil Richards with his first goal of, of, of the, not just the season, his first goal with this team ever, apparently. Uh, good stuff from him. Oh, yeah, because we brought Richards in this season. So, of course, it would be the first goal with the team if it's first first goal of the season as well. Well, the team is doing exactly what we needed them to do. Show up and give the fans something to cheer for. Let's see if we can keep this going. Knowles up to McKay. McKay over to Knowles. Knowles is going to push the ball up. He's going to try to give himself a goal. Uh, I think he was going for a field goal on that one uh, as opposed to a foot, uh, soccer ball goal. There's McKay. His third goal of the season. He's waking up today. He's like, I'm ready to rock and roll, guys. Fans are excited. Actually, quite a few fans in the stands back there. Just on that one side. The other side is pretty bare. <laughs> Come on, guys. Keep it up. Uh-oh. Don't, don't let him get one. Honestly, giving up a goal would almost be like a loss in this, in this case. We really don't want our defense to shut down in that manner. We want to stay aggressive. We want to be able to keep the zero there because this team is... Oh, that was close. Is, you know, just not... Not going to be at our level, quite, quite frankly. They're going to get a corner kick here, though. Richard's heading that one out. I want to pay attention to guys' fitness as well, though, because we don't want anybody to get too tired here. Oh, wait, wait. How is he off sides? He kicked the ball over. The other team kicked it back. And that makes him off sides? Hmm, I'm not sure. I might have just seen it. Just not seen what I thought I saw, but it looked like the other team was the ones that touched the ball back to him 
I didn't think a pass from the other team, which obviously it wasn't actually a pass from their team, but I didn't think that kind of thing could put you off sides. But maybe it can. Waters with the ball, gets it up to Coran. Coran over the bar. I think it might have gotten deflected over the bar, but that's all right. Wow. Uh, another highlight. We're only 20 minutes into this game. Coran heading the ball up. Noel's not able to get on that one. And here comes Wellwyn Garden City on their attack. There we go. McKay with the ball. He's going to get it up. No, it's a little too far for Nose to run onto. Richards heads it down to McGuckin. McGuckin pushing up to McKay. McKay going to get it over to Thomas on the right-hand side. Thomas has got a little bit of space to ship it. We're going to get across in here, hopefully. Is going to get it across to Coran. And oh, wait, it did go in. No, it didn't. Oh, I thought it went. It, it did technically go in, but... Maybe that was like counted over. The, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> it looked like it was in the goal. <gasps> Something happened there. Waters with the ball here. Free kick. Almost. There we go. Who got that one? Knowles got that one. The follow up. And he's going to be called for offsides, isn't he? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, the ref got out his his mic micrometer, right? Like, is that the thing that measures like tiny increments? He's like, oh, you're just as much offsides. Oh my goodness. Tom is with the ball here. He's going to get it across to Curran is there. Not able to get a good shot yet. He's going to get it across to... Nope, he's not. He's going to get taken away from him. Uh, here comes Richards, though. Pushing it back up to Challoner. Over to Thomas. Thomas to Curran. Curran's going to have a good chance here. Oh, good chance. Not able to get it in there. Curran back across to McGuckin. Not able to get that one in either. Good defense from Wellwyn Garden City on that possession, I would say. We're going to see one more highlight, it looks like, right before halftime. It's going to be a free kick here coming in from Waters. Oh, so close. Coran with the ball back. Trying to get back to Waters. Not able to get it to him. And that might be the end of that highlight. So yes, it is. And it should be the end of the half. Going into halftime, four to nothing. I definitely want to keep things going. I'm probably going to pull back on the very tagging mentality that you probably have already noticed um, a bit. Um... I'll cheer the boys on. They deserve a little bit of cheer. Uh, I'll pull back on that mentality because we don't need to go super crazy coming into the second half. In fact, honestly, I may even pull back to positive at this point. I don't want to tire the boys out too much. Let's just play it easy for the rest of the game. Knowles with the ball. Back to Lessie. Over to Coran. Knowles. Cross to Thomas is there. Oh, not quite able to get inside the post there. But good effort from the boys. Oh, come on. I'm going to pause the game. Um, I mean, everybody's playing outstanding, so who do I bring off? Just probably whoever's the most fatigued. Looks like Richard's here. Just give him a give him a chance to get some rest before the next game, which is the more important of the game of the two. Like, I don't even care about the FA Cup at all. The most I care about the FA Cup is hopefully getting some money from the FA Cup if we can advance a little ways. Um, but beyond that, I do not care about the FA Cup at all. Maybe I should but I don't. <laughs> um, where, who are we bringing out? Probably, I don't know. Probably one of our midfielders. Let's bring out Lussie and bring in, yeah, Daly's fine, fine, whoever we can grab. I'm going to come back to a balance mentality for the second, last 15 minutes here. Looks like we are going to get a free kick here. Knowles with a free kick. Curves it around just over the bar. That's all right. We did everything we needed to do. Now we just got to coast it in at this point. Uh, last sub of the game. Looks like Karen is the most fatigued at the moment. So we'll bring him out. And that'll be our last sub. Good game. Good, good, good game. Oh, man, look at the <laughs> heat map there. Looks like, I'm just going to make a joke. I mean, is this where the, the bench is? Like, is, they were like, 
Like they weren't playing the game because this is this is a yeah this is well Garden City's e map. <laughs> they were just over here. They're like, Coach, what do we do, Coach? I don't know what to do. They're just all huddled over there. That's that's their heat map. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's what it looks like though. Oh goodness. All right. Uh, good good play though. All around, pretty exciting to see. Thirty three shots, sixteen on target, almost a four xg. Obviously four goals on the on the board. Um, we actually went offsides a lot in this game. Got to be careful of that in a real game. But no, well done. That is exactly what you want to see against a team that is probably a couple tiers below you. Honestly, I would not have been too surprised to see a little bit more of a higher score, but that's okay. I don't need to go to the press conference for that one. Uh, we did say receive some money. I mean, that's 3.37 is, I wouldn't, I would not laugh at that at all. So that's, that's really the, all I care about the FA Cup is get us staying alive as long as we can. So we can just get a little bit of money because um, that's going to help our overall finances i mean our finances are okay we're still above um so if we can hold on to that uh we're really not expending that much more than we're making especially if you count the wins we just got but i'm trying to be very careful with the finances i mean I, not at the risk of like losing games as long as we're playing well i'm gonna try and play careful with the finances and like i said i still want to get a couple more players in so that will hurt the finances a little bit but one of them hopefully will be a loanee that will be basically free and we'll see what we can do. But we'll be right back for game number two against Bradford PA. Against the, Again, they are currently 21st in the league. So hopefully another win. But we will see in just a moment. All right. We are back for game number two here against Bradford PA, who did just win their last game. So we shall see uh, how much impact that has on things. Um, same basic team that we've been playing. Uh, Renshaw and Gold, Waters, Wilson, Richards, Challoner across the back. Curran, Lucy, 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 however you say that. Uh, McGuckin and Thomas uh, in the midfield. Of course, Nils McKay up front. Overall, good play from just about everybody. Thomas has not been playing super well uh, last five games. Uh, we'll have to see if we can get something better out of him. Uh, maybe playing as a defensive winger is not the right move. Maybe we should just move him up to a normal winger on support. In fact, I've, I will actually do that. Be just a little bit more aggressive with him. See if he can do get a little more involved in things. Um other than that, I don't think I'm going to change much of anything else. Uh, one thing I did want to call out before I forget, I did ask, uh, I waited to about five games into the season when we were doing pretty good. I think we were ranked eighth or ninth, maybe 10th, something like that. We were in the top 10 for sure. And so we were doing pretty good. I went ahead and asked and said, hey, can you send me on a coaching course? And of course, as for whatever reason seems to be the thing that they say this year in Football Manager 2022, uh, they were like, no, we don't want to send you on a coaching course because that might make you better and you'll leave us. I mean, it's 100% true. It's like they watched my Journeyman Glory Hunter series last last year, and they were like, we know who this guy is. We know the whole point is for him to get better and move on. Um, so it was like, really? Um, we're not in a position where we could like say, give us a coaching course or we're going to leave type of thing, and they're going to be like, oh, we have to give you a coaching course. We want you to at least stay a little bit longer. But um, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep poking at it where we can, and hopefully they eventually send us on something because – I mean, unless they've changed something where you can get grow, you know, without coaching courses, I, I don't know if there's another way for us to to grow in the same manner. We have to have the coaching courses to be considered by higher teams. So it is a critical part of things. We shall see. But anyway, let's get into this. I'm ready for this game. Uh, if we keep winning or keep doing at least well, maybe not winning necessarily, but just doing well, then I think we can eventually argue for that coaching course and they'll give it to us just because they want to keep us. Um, carry on, please do. I mean, that 4 nothing domination. Let's keep that up a little bit here, guys, although this is a more realistic team. <laughs> Less fans in the stands, which is kind of strange, but I guess the FA Cup really does bring the fans out. Interesting, we're getting an early, early highlight here. I don't think this is the kickoff highlight. I think this is le actually legit highlight now. All right, Richards coming back for that one. He pushes the ball up to McGuckin. McGuckin back to Richards. Richards going to get it up to McGuckin. McGuckin over to Challoner. Challoner up to Thomas. Thomas gets to McKay. McKay back to Challoner. Over to McGuckin. We're kind of crowded over there on that side of things. Richards with the ball now. Back over to Wilson. We are just being very patient here. Waters pushing it up a little bit. Nope. Lussie with the ball. Back to Waters. Waters. He's going to get it over to Nose now. Nose does get the ball. Goes for goal. I don't know if that was advisable, but... I guess he felt like he needed to. Challoner throwing the ball in. Thomas with the ball. Back to Challoner. Across to Karan is over there. McKay's there. And he... Oh! 
I tell you, that looked like that hit the inside of the net, but I guess it didn't quite go over. Uh, my assistant co uh, manager thinks that I should go to a 4-4-1-1 because apparently uh, Curran's best position is an attacking midfielder in the center. Um, and don't get me wrong, he is like one of our top three best players right now. And I want to make sure he's playing in a really strong position for him because he's, he's doing a really good job. But at the same time, if he's doing a really good job from that left-hand side, do we want to change anything, you know? Um, I don't know. So we'll see. And, I, and also, I don't really have anybody else that can play on that left-hand side anyway. And obviously, in a 4 one you'd still need somebody over there. If I can get another person coming in that can play strong on that left-hand side, we might try it out at some point. But for right now, we're going to stick with things how they are. There's Nose with the ball. He's going to get into the box here, but he's not... Oh, he's just going to turn around and go for it. I I thought he made a mistake. He apparently knows better than I do. Good job, Mr. Knowles. I I'm uh, I will let you do what you do. I mean, he's, what, 29 years old, I think? He's definitely a veteran enough to be able to just make decisions like that on his own. Yeah, give it to him. Give it to him right there. Come on, guys. Keep it up. 30 minutes in. Really want this win here today. We want to get a couple wins here. Go six. Well, not six points, because obviously the first one was just FA Cup. But we want two wins in the, on, the, on, the, on the episode. That would be a really strong episode, even though the first one was, of course, a know-nothing team. That's not fair. I'm sure somebody knows who that team is and supports them. And, you know, good for them. That's good. Those. Seventh goal of the season, second goal of the game. Really, really doing a good job. I actually haven't checked to see where he ranks in the league right now on goal scoring, but he's got to be up there in like the top five, I would think. I can't imagine there's many people have more than seven goals in what? Six, seven games? So that's goal per game. Another highlight already. Wow. There's Wilson getting it to McGuckin. McGuckin over to Thomas. Thomas gets it up to McKay. McKay pushing it over to Challoner. Gets it across. Nope, not able to get to one of our guys. There's Lussie, though, able to pick that one up. And back up to Thomas. Thomas uh, McKay, or whoever's offside right now, I better watch it. Challenger across, there's McKay. He got back on sides, got his header, fourth goal of the season. And that's what we want. We want to see those high crosses where McKay can jump over the defender and get into the back of the net. I mean, he's not going to do that probably every single game, but if he gets five, ten of those for the season as a whole, then, then he's done his job. Like, we just want occasional target man type goals where he jumps up. Uh, he didn't really jump up that high there. He just overpowered, I Actually looked like he faced through the defender, but um, it works. It's what we need. We need to see that good heading from him and uh, just to get a couple goals here and there. And that's going to make a huge difference over the course of the season, I think. Playing really well, well today. I mean, that's really good to see after that last game, too. Sometimes when you come off a really, really strong win in a, in a cup game or something like that, you you just for some reason I feel like we almost always fall flat in the game following that. I it does it's almost unexplainable, but we seem to have picked kept that momentum and, and carried it with us into this game. Knows over to Karan. Karan just drops it back to uh, Waters here. Over to Lussie. Across to McKay. McKay over to Thomas. Thomas is going to get past the defenders for a second. Is he going to go for goal? He is sort of going to go for goal, I guess. Uh, I mean, not really a strong shot, kind of a lofty shot, and it did go over the bar there. All right, we're going to go into halftime up three to nothing. That is a great way to start this here. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready, really happy with how things are going. Keep inspiring the boys. Let's see if we can keep up this, this progress here. I mean, I really don't think we need much, many changes in the team, like I said. Like, we really don't need much. Uh, I, I want a couple, like I said, I wouldn't mind playing a 4-4-1-1. In a couple games just to kind of change things up a little bit you don't want to just be you know kind of stay in the same formation all the time but yeah, at the same time i don't know that i want to make major changes um so it kind of maybe changes things up just slightly might help us out in the long run of trying to keep 
keep the other teams honest. If they always know what to expect from us, not that a 4-4-1-1 is that much different, to be fair. Maybe we need to change it up a little bit more than that. Maybe like a 4-2-4, but still kind of keep a similar type of mentality. But no, so far so good. I'm pretty happy with everything except that right there. Is it a true proper red? It is just a yellow. Definitely do not want Richards getting thrown out of here because we kind of need him. All right, we're going to go ahead and probably sub out Richards, actually, because we do not want him picking up another yellow card if we can help it. And we'll keep things going. We've caught them off sides a couple times today. Not too bad. All right. Um, 6.6 from Lussie. Really not playing well today. Bring Mr. Jack here in here, I think. Even though my assistant manager would prefer someone else. We'll bring him in here. Drop it back down to a little bit balanced here. Just try to coast into this, this win here. We don't really need to do much more. We've already done our, everything we need. Now we just need to shut down the defense. Waters with the ball. Knowles. Curran. Wilson with the ball. Challoner, McGuckin, Thomas, McKay. Come on, guys. Back to Wilson. Gets it up to Knowles is there. Not able to get on that one, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like we are going to lose uh, possession here. And here comes Bradford PA on the counterattack, although we did slow them down enough. I think our defense got back. So we are in a good spot for now. Although there's ball over the top. Flowers able to pick that one up. Over to Challoner. Back to Flowers. Come on, guys. Let's go. Knowles not quite able to get on that one. Trying to get it to him, not able to quite get it where he can get on it. Doherty over to Burton. Burton's go. I don't want to say lucky go. I mean, I think he. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, he was offside. I was going to give him a little bit of credit there. I thought he he did all right, but no, he was offside. Um, let's bring. I don't know who I want to bring out. You know what? We're bringing McGuckin out. Let's bring both of our midfielders out. Keep our midfield strong and and uh, energized. Let's keep the zero, guys. Come on. A couple more minutes. There we go. That's, that's what we want to see. Really, really strong spike there. And then we just really held on. Not much they could have done there. Absolutely a great work from everybody all around. Where does that put us? We'll see. We are in sixth place. Not bad. Honestly, not bad at all. Like I said, seventh game. I thought that was the seventh game. So we're seven seven games with seven goals for, um, for, um, what's his name? Oh my goodness. I just, mind back my own player's name. I feel really bad. Uh, for Knowles, goodness. Um, which, let's see where he's at over on the competition. He is, yep, number one. <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought he had to be up there in the top you know, three to five. Uh, I was kind of thinking in the back of my head, number one, but I was like, I don't want to like be completely foolish because there's probably somebody who's got like 10 goals. Nope, seven goals, seven for seven. Uh, does put you number one here. And he's a uh, player of the match three times. He is over average rating. This is the number one. Uh, he's the only player that's in those top three on any of those things. But overall, looking pretty good. Good stuff. All right. Well, next game you guys are going to see is going to be uh we'll go to the press conference here in a second let's praise nils real quick very pleased with how things are going you guys are going to see da, 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 da. um jay's head is third get minister 16th probably the gate said and then either spinning more afc telford depending on what how far i decide to just cruise through probably spinning more just because that'll put us like three games here and then give us a couple games before we do November stuff. So probably spending more Gateshead is my guess. Uh, but we shall see if I change it up and do Gateshead AFC Telford. Don't be too shocked, but something like that. But so far, so good. I think I'm feeling pretty good about things. We'll see if we can keep up the momentum and get us a few more points in October. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.